Okay, so this video tutorial is all about on how you will submit your electronic portfolio sa Science 10. So, ipapakita ko kung paano nyo i-upload yung e-portfolio ninyo, okay, gamit ang computer or ang inyong laptop. And then, for the second part, if gamit nyo naman ang inyong smartphone. So, for those who will be using their computer or laptop, this is how you will submit your electronic portfolio sa Google Classroom. So, first thing, Okay, so ganito yung template niyo sa electronic portfolio niyo. So first thing you have to provide the needed evidence, okay, that will support your performance sa first quarter. So nakalagay dito quarter 1, uh, first, tapos yung name niyo, mauna muna yung surname and then your given name and then your middle initial, your grade and section, example lang, your email address and of course the name of your subject teacher. So you were given orientation about this on how to accomplish this. So walang problema dito. So, if everything is okay, all you need to do is click File and then you click Save. Okay, Save As. Okay, doon sa file name, make sure na nakalagay ePortfolio underscore yung pangalan ninyo. Okay, then underscore yung section ninyo. So, pag okay na, pwede mo nang i-click yung Save. Just remember kung saan mo siya sinave. Okay, let's, let's say for example, dito sinave ko siya sa desktop. So, click ko yung Save. Okay, so since nakasave na yung aking electronic portfolio, example lang. So, the next thing that you need to do is you open your okay, you open your uh, Google Classroom. So, example, okay, you go to classroom.google.com and then you uh, open your Google Classroom. So, yung Google Classroom natin, dito example lang, first thing is you need to go to Classwork since your teacher already posted the assignment. Okay, so nandito na yung assignment, submission of e-portfolio. Okay, so i-click mo yan. Tapos i-click mo tong view assignment. Click mo yung view assignment. Now, dito sa right side, merong your work. So i-click mo yung add or create. And then since add or create, at since file, uh, naka-PowerPoint presentation yon yung file niya. So i-click mo yung file. Okay. And then of course, na dapat na sa upload. And then click a uh, browse. And then, hanapin mo dito yung sinave mo na uh, electronic portfolio mo. So, i-browse lang natin. So, ito yun. So, electronic portfolio. Select ko yan. Click. And then, open. So, yan. I-upload na. Okay. So, hintayin nyo matapos yan hanggang sabihin niyang... Uh, okay. So, makikita nyo, pag ganyan na, ibig sabihin, successful yung pag-attach nyo ng file ng inyong electronic portfolio. So, pag okay na, don't forget to click hand in. So, click yung hand in. So, may sasabi niya, one attachment will be submitted for submission of portfolio. So, pag okay yan, click hand in ulit. Ayan. So, automatic may nasubmit na kayong electronic portfolio okay, sa Google Classroom. Okay? So, makikita na yan ng inyong, ng inyong teacher. So, that's how you will do it. If you want to submit your electronic portfolio sa Science 10 gamit ang inyong laptop or uh, computer. For the next part of this video, how you will submit your electronic portfolio using your smartphone naman, dun sa mga gagamit ng smartphone. Okay, for those who will submit their e-portfolio using their smartphone, you have to install first the Google Slides in your smartphone. So, since may naka-install na dito na Google Slides sa aking smartphone, Ang susunod kong gagawin ay pupunta ako sa Google Classroom. So, itatap ko yung Google Classroom. And then, of course, yan. So, pupunta ako dun sa Google Class. And then, in the classwork, hahanapin ko yung template ng e-portfolio. So, again, this is uploaded by your teacher. So, nasa, hanapin ko yung e-portfolio template. So, yan. So, itatap ko yan. Once you tap it, so makikita mo yung attachment na e-portfolio template, itap mo yan. And then yung arrow dyan sa upper right corner, okay, para magkaroon ka ng copy, sarili mong copy, itap mo yan, yung arrow sa upper right corner. Once you tap it, automatic mag-open siya sa Google Slides app mo, okay? So meron ka na ngayong sariling template that you can edit, okay? So pwede mo yung i-edit gamit yung, yung smartphone, you can, add, you can add pictures, you can change the text, you can insert the pictures, yung mga screenshots ng, ng inyong mga uh, submission. 
and other evidence that support your that will support uh, your performance for this quarter. Okay, so i-edit lang yan. Dada mga kailangang uh, ilagay sa e-portfolio. So, if ready na yung e-portfolio mo, ang susunod mong gagawin ay itap mo yung icon sa taas, yung may tao at saka plus sign. So, i-add mo yung email ng iyong teacher. So, example lang yung email ng aking teacher. Ilagay ko dyan. And then, i-add ko siya as commenter. So, commenter. Add your teacher as commenter. So, once you are done, okay, i-click mo yung send, yung arrow dyan sa baba sa blue. And then, of course, susunod ay i-tap mo yung three dots. And then, tap share and export. And then, copy link. Okay, tap uh, copy link. So, if you're done, you go ag back again to your Google Classroom app. Go to your class. And then, sa classwork, hanapin mo yung assignment for the submission of e-portfolio. So, submission of e-portfolio, tap mo yan. And then, swipe mo yung arrow up. Okay? And then, hanapin mo yung add attachment. So, since link yon, so, tap natin yung link. Double tap to paste the link. And then, add. Okay? So, let's just wait it to be processed. And then, if okay na, tap turn in. And then, turn in again. So, yan. Nakasubmit ka na ngayon ng iyong e-portfolio gamit ang iyong smartphone. So, please take note of the steps para uh, it can be opened by your teacher immediately.